So now, uh, based on our previous rate, we can go up to 10 or down to 6. The full index rate is 10, which is what we want to adjust to. That's within our adjustment range, so we're going to adjust up to 10. Hey, let's say the next year, so again, that 10% becomes our previous rate. The next year, the index goes up to 10%. With a margin of 2%, that gives us a fully index rate of 12%. With a 2% cap, this rate, the previous rate can go down to 8 or up to 12. But remember, we have an 11% max. So this loan will adjust to 11%, which is the maximum lifetime cap for this program. So even though the fully indexed rate is 12, and that 12 is within the periodic cap for this adjustment period, it's not within the lifetime cap. So the loan will cap out at the 11%. Okay, let's say the next year the market's recovering, so the 11% is our previous rate now, and the market improves, and so the index plummets to 5%. That makes our fully indexed rate 7%. So this loan can go can't go up because we're already at our lifetime max, can go down to 9. wants to go down to 7, but it can only go down to 9 because of the periodic cap. So we will adjust to 9. Let's do one more. So that 9 because of our previous interest rate. Let's say the index stays the same. And so our fully indexed rate stays the same. So this time we can go down to 7 or back up to 11. And we'll go down to 7. One more example, because I know this is complicated. Okay, in this program, we're going to start at a start rate of 4%. So they gave us a pretty good teaser rate. And this program is going to have 5 to 5 caps. So remember, that means that the first adjustment is capped at 5% from the previous rate, or the start rate in this case. The subsequent periodic caps are 2%, and the lifetime cap is 5%. So with this loan, with a start rate of 4%, the lifetime cap, when you add that to the 5%, the lifetime cap on this loan is going to be 9%. So that's going to be our lifetime max. So we'll keep that in mind as we start doing our adjustments. So let's say at the end of the first adjustment period, our index for this type of program, and again, the indexes are controlled by the market. They change every day, they change every hour, they change every minute. It's just, if you review the course and the remainder of the course that talks about the indices, uh, you can see the possible options for an index for an adjustable rate. Let's say on this one our margin is 3, and again, those are set by the lender at the time of closing. So this fully indexed rate is 8%. Remember, that is the rate to which the loan would like to adjust if the caps will allow it. Well, because this is the first time adjustment, the cap is 5%. So that means this loan could actually go up to 9%. Because the fully indexed rate is within that adjustment range, we will adjust to the fully indexed rate. So that 8% becomes our previous rate. Let's say our index goes up to 6 the next year. Our margin stays the same. Remember, that margin will stay the same the entire time. That means our fully indexed rate is now 9. So now, after the first adjustment, we're over to our 2% cap. That 2% cap applies to every adjustment hereafter. So based on the 8%, we can go up to 10 or down to 6. Fully indexed rate is 9, which is what we want to go to, and that 9 is within that range, so we are going to adjust to 9. Uh, next year, uh, 9 becomes our previous rate. Let's say the index goes up to 7. Margin stays the same, so our fully indexed rate is 10. And if you just based on the periodic cap, you could go up to 11 or down to 7. But remember, we do have a lifetime cap of 9. So even though we want to adjust to 9 based on the fully indexed rate, we're not going to adjust to 9, excuse me, we want to adjust to 10 because of the fully indexed rate, but we are capped at 9, so we will stay at 9%. And one more example, let's say the index plummets the next year to 4%, and so that makes the fully indexed rate 7%. Based on the, the caps, the rate could go down to 7, can't go up because we're already lifetime max, and that 7 is within the range, so we will adjust to 7%. And I lied, let's go with one more example. Uh, previous rate is now 7, let's say our index really drops and it's now 1%. That makes our fully indexed rate 4%, which is what we want to adjust to. But remember the caps are only going to allow us to go up to 9 or down to 5, so we will adjust to 4, excuse me, 
that is incorrect. We will adjust to 5 because the 4 is outside of the range. Uh, again, just so I don't confuse you, uh, you can go down to 5 or up to 9. The fully indexed rate wants to go to 4, but that 4 is outside of the range, so you're only going to be able to go down to 5.